uh, yeah, for part B, you could go uh, you, you could go Cartesian from minus one to one, yeah. and then polar. So there's two paths, and then polar. So this we could do polar, and uh, this we can do this whole thing here from here to here. We can do Cartesian. To evaluate it and the question is to evaluate z squared dz along that c so i'm gonna work it out here ben as you do it there b so uh we will split this up into uh, uh one and two <clears throat> so this is path one and this is path two and we'll add the two okay so um, so z squared dz along the closed integral will be uh, 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 the integral along path one plus the integral along path two And so, uh, will be the integral along one plus the integral along path two. Okay, so for one, we're gonna use rectangular coordinates. And um, on one, let me do it in a different color. Uh, on one, Uh, y is 0 dy is 0 there's no change in y because we're going vertically like this um, and then so z will equal uh, uh, x plus i y there's no y so that's just x and so if we do that we will get uh, dz will equal dx there's no d dy is 0 so dx and then we are going to integrate this x is going from minus 1 to 1 so this is path 1 of z squared dz uh, this is going from uh, minus 1 to 1 and z is x so this is x squared and dz is dx and uh, if we integrate that we will get uh, x cube over 3 from minus 1 to 1 that's 1 third minus minus 1 third so we get 2 thirds for this Let's just run this here. Two thirds. Okay, let's go on path number two. Okay, so path number two, since this is a circular shape, it's a semicircle, we will use polar coordinates. And for polar coordinates, uh, uh, z is uh, just r e to the i theta, but r is fixed, r is 1. <clears throat> so that means uh, z is just equal e to the, oops, uh, e to the i theta. And so dz would be, I can take the derivative of that. It's i e to the i theta d theta. The angle is changing as we loop around the circle. Um, okay, so now on path number two, the z squared dz would become uh, i e to the i theta, first integral, um, squared. Oops, sorry. Uh, e to the i theta squared that's z and then dz is i e to the i theta d theta 
uh, and uh, where are we integrating from well uh, from 0 on the right hand side and this is semicircle so it's going to pi so this becomes <coughs> e to the 2 i theta times i times e to the i theta d theta and 0 to pi we can combine these two so what do we get, do we get 3 i theta so i 0 to pi e to the 3 i theta d theta and this is a straightforward integral uh, this is just e <coughs> to the uh, not same 3 i theta and then we divide by the chain rule which is 3 i no? we divide by the chain rule which is 3 i and then we evaluate and then we could just cross out these two i's here or multiply up and down by i so we get minus one over minus one and this is going from zero to pi and so this is one third e and to the three i pi uh, minus e to the zero is one so we get uh, now let's expand this with sines and cosines so uh, this is uh, e to the i theta is cosine the angle so cosine 3 pi plus i sine 3 pi so that's this guy here uh, minus 1 of course sine 3 pi is 0 so this guy goes away this guy is a minus 1 so we get minus 2 thirds and indeed if we add them the first one is 2 thirds the second one is negative 2 thirds and if we add them just like Cauchy's theorem predicts or says that since this is a closed integral it's a contour integral that's analytic uh, everywhere inside C the closed integral of fz dz contour integral has to be zero and it is uh, so this is z squared dz is two-thirds minus two-thirds equals zero uh, that doesn't